yesterday this was actually brought up but um i didn't talk about it yesterday i don't i don't know why but i just forgot we were like there was a donation i talked about this before i fucking fell out my chair before i fell out my chair subway employee shot dead after an argument over fucking mayonnaise mayonnaise bruh like what the fuck bruh Subway restaurant employee is dead and another is in critical condition after police say a customer shot them over an argument about a sandwich. It happened here at a location in Atlanta, Georgia. There was something wrong with the sandwich uh, that made him so upset that he decided to take out his anger on two of the employees here. A five-year-old child was also inside the restaurant. So that child was also placed in danger. That child is has to go through some type of trauma counseling. So again, this is incidents that one that we always- Yo, it's literally fucking mayonnaise. They act like, they act like, now look, look, look bro, I got an order from Chick-fil-A, uh, from KFC, extra gravy, and they fucked my shit up. They fucked my whole car up, bro. This nigga just had a little bit of extra mayonnaise. It ain't get on none of his car. It ain't get on his clothes. It's not over here. All of his shit, bro, all of his floor. Now, I was mad at KFC. It's fuck KFC. But, like, not once did that go in, like, that, not once did that pop up in my mind. Like, yo, I'm gonna take a weapon and I'm gonna do something. Like, bro, of course that shit pissed me off, but it's like, what am I gonna do? Like, well, like, they not gonna go out there and clean my car for me. I don't know. Some people don't got self control talk about that did not have to happen there's literally no the excuse of the subway franchise no excuse TV for this station wgcl the shooting happened after a customer allegedly got upset over the amount of mayonnaise that was put on his sandwich i don't know what the world is coming to especially with our youth they just seem to be so hot-headed these days everybody wants to carry a gun everybody wants to everybody wants to carry a gun because it makes them feel hard and because they they can't actually fight like, if you really got a gun for this type of shit, to intimidate subway employees because they had too much may mayonnaise, you have a fragile, like, you, you, you're, you're, you're fragile. You're just fragile as fuck, bro. There's somebody with a gun. It's just, um, uh, it's scary. Imagine, bro. The suspect, whose name has not yet been made public, has bro, been arrested. show him. This Inside Edition Digital. Show him. Stop protecting this nigga, man. Put his shit out there, bro. Okay, something else crazy that um, I just found out about is there were at least 50 dead in a trailer with no air conditioning. 50, 50 dead. What? Like, what the fuck? I think this was... Um, they said... Hold on, let me see what it was. 50 dead found in an abandoned trailer in Texas. Is this the same report? Because there was something about, like, immigrants. There was, like, a whole bunch of dead immigrants as well or some shit like that. I don't know if this is the same thing, but, I mean... At least 50 people are dead, found in an abandoned trailer in Texas. Authorities in San Antonio say the vehicle was found when a worker heard a cry for help. Came out to investigate, found a, a trailer with the doors partially open, uh, opened them up to take a look, and found a number of... Um, deceased individuals inside. Along with the deceased, 16 other people, four of them children, were transported to area hospitals. They were reported- That wasn't a person, was it? Who the fuck was that? Too weak to stand. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from hospital exhaustion. Um, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that bridge. Temperatures in San Antonio Damn. reached over 100 degrees Fahrenheit on Monday. Authorities believe this was a group of migrant workers. At least 22 have been identified from Mexico, seven from Guatemala, and two from Honduras. So the plight of migrants seeking refuge is always a humanitarian crisis, but tonight we are dealing with a horrific human tragedy. So I would urge you. Sorry, but what, like, what camera was this? Like, who, what is this camera quality? You all to think compassionately and pray for the deceased. It's like a ring doorbell. The ailing, the families. We have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. 
This alleged human smuggling event is now part of an ongoing federal investigation. So is this just a, like, was this some sort of accident? It's not my internet. It's literally their camera. Their camera, that, like the camera that they're recording was, was dog shit. But, um, so this was like an accident? Like, did they not realize that this would happen? What's up, man? What up? One, I wanted to be in a vid. Two, I love y'all, man. FNG on top y'all bros are amazing. Lay you do. Three, there's nothing better than being put in a crib. Being put in a what? This is Inside Edition Digital. Nothing better than being put in a cringe comp and Dante ends up liking you. Anyway, y'all, once again, peace. Wait, who are you? Wait, you were in a cringe compilation? Which one were you, man? I need to know.